Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai, bringing you all part two of my, of my, uh, I guess, playthrough, let's play, of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, last time when we left off, uh, we had entered the strange new world. We saw a being that had transferred us, that had teleported us to a brand new world, a world of... A world, you know, uh, what's the word? I can't think of it. Anyways, um, Arce Arceus, you know, delivered us here, and now here we are, uh, pretty much gonna be the savior of this world, um, and whatnot, so, uh, so yeah, um, we met Professor Laventon, we've met Akari, and we've also met Captain Silene of the Galaxy Team. So, what we're gonna be doing in this part is, uh, pretty much gonna do that trial, so, uh, so yeah, before we get started, please make sure to leave a like and comment on the video and subscribe for some more of this, or s subscribe and, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, like I said, this has been one of my most anticipated games for this year, along with, you know, um, what's it called, along with Breath of the Wild when that comes out later on in the year, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited, man, I'm, I'm very excited for this game, this is a long this is a game I've waited for a long time for Game Freak to do, so I am going to take every moment in, because <laughs> this this is some exciting stuff. Anyways, let's get to the cabin, and let's go to sleep. Oh yeah, by the way, um, like I already mentioned, subscribe. I'm actually about five subscribers away from reaching my, my goal of 450 soon, so if we can hit that goal, that would be fantastic. And uh, yeah, so anyways, let's go in, and uh, let's find out how our... Uh, temporary home is man this looks sweet love it all right so we have a chest here that we can't use yet and we also have some uh some other stuff we got some jugs of water uh so we're, we're super old-fashioned and we have some scrolls Survey tips contain all, set, all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. See ya. Oh yeah, by the way, as I'm recording, um, well, I'm recording this on the same day as I'm record as I recorded part one, uh, but also I'm recording it like really late at night, like it's already past 12, so I'm trying to be as quiet as I can, but also be excited at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> to save your progress, uh, use the up button to open up the menu and scroll with ZR or ZLZR, ZR, ZLZR, <laughs> until you reach the save screen. It's also auto saving, so that's sick. All right, and there's something else here. Oh yeah, by the way, look at this. Boom. Sandals on. Sandals off. Sandals on. Sandals off. Sandals on. Sandals off. Sandals on. Sandals off. Sandals on. Ah! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. All right, let's uh, let's get to bed soon. Um, let's see what's here. We got some rocks. That's sick. I wonder if these rocks actually have a meaning though. Maybe they could foreshadow some some stuff with legendaries. Maybe. Ah, uh, no, they don't look anything like special. So probably not. Um. We change our uniform, which is cool. We can't do that right now. And then we have this right here. Our four principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed their respect. Are owed their respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury. Ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. That's facts. That's facts. Alright. Time to sleep. If I can press A button, there we go. <laughs> Sleep until the morning? I guess we have to. Only way we can sleep, brother. Oh. oh this is the exciting shit. Oh, boy. Yo. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, next day. Here we go. Good morning, AOS. Are you up? Qu 
quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it was. Today's the day of your trials, so uh, let's give it a roll. Alright. And give it our all we shall. Let's get out there and let's make some moves. Let's catch some mons. Let's throw some balls at mons and catch and capture them. <laughs> what lovely weather we've got. I hope you've had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Salim is waiting. Alright. And to headquarters we shall go. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured out how to run. Um, you actually just hold the stick down, like the uh, left stick down, and then you just run. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, here we go. Time to get in there and uh, start our trial. The Survey Corps office offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. Oh, the wild Pokemon. They were they were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent on my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack. Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. But the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps. And even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Xylene, AOS is here. Hmm, you may enter. You know, she didn't look angry all the time. She'd actually be kind of cute, no cap. No cap. And if she has some eyebrows too, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Wheel Fieldlands and capture three different species of Pokemon: Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catch three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must provide, you must prove beyond any doubt that you will be an asset to our cause. So like, so like what would happen if a straggler, you know, just a, just a random stranger, not, not me, but like someone else that was like me, what if they came here and you know, they failed the trial, would they just be kicked out of the village? They just be like, "Hey man, you failed. Good luck out there." <laughs> like, like damn. <laughs> if you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I'll lend you one of our security corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh. Mode of dress. Akari. I'll expect you step in if anything goes awry. Oh, like if I get beaten down by a Shinx or a Beedo just rolls out on me or something. Or Starly just wing attacks me. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. Press Y while consulting the map on your arc phone. You can check the task you have uh, waiting. There are two types of there are two types missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional given by people you meet. It's pretty sick, honestly. You know, I'm really glad that we have a Pokemon game where there's actually like requests you can take. Like, this is a full on RPG now. I mean, Pokemon was already an RPG, but it's like it's su it's such a different kind of RPG. That's not your typical RPG. Um, so, like, now that there's actually requests, though, it, it definitely feels more like an RPG, so I like that. I like that a lot. Pardon AOS. Or, pardon AOS. Come with me a moment. Hey. It's my boy. 
Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Lavington? By the way, I forgot to mention this. Bro is tall as fuck. Like, 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 like Professor Lavington is really tall. I don't think we've had a professor that tall since... I want to say... I want to say since either Kikui or... I think Kikui might be the tallest one. Either him or Jupiter. I think Jupiter was pretty tall. I think she was... Or not Jupiter, Juniper. I think Professor Juniper was pretty tall, but I might be wrong. Um, But yeah, like... It's a tall professor. In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in the unforgiving land, Aeos absolutely must pass this trial. As a professor of Pokémon, I've got just the ticket to accomplish that. Ah, let me take all three of them. <laughs> Go on, Aeos. Pick the Pokémon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight. You'll be able to fight off all Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's it's uh it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Well, Professor, if I had a choice, I would take all three of them. I would take all three of them. Look at them. Look at Rowlet looking at me. Oh man. Oh well. Well, Cynical's not looking really, he isn't really looking up. He's just looking, like, down, but still. Look at him. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Look. And they're, oh. I love how they look. How they look at me. It's, it's, it's so cool. It's so damn cool. Well, I know who I'm picking. <laughs> Y'all know who I'm picking. Ashra knows who I'm picking. Look at him. He's like, come on, man. Pick me. Pick me, damn it. Pick me. Don't pick the other two. Pick me. <laughs> the splash. Bro, of course. You're my mascot. I have to pick you on my first attempt. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't have to. I'm probably going to pick Rowlet or even Cyndaquil, but... You, you are too dear to my heart. I love Cyndaquil, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, Cyndaquil... Me and Cyndaquil go, like, way back. I'm talking Coliseum days. <laughs> That's how far we go back. But, um... But, yeah. um, And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach... For me, will now be yours to keep. Good show. I took Oshawott back into Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. Sick. Here we go. Got my boy Oshawott. Lovely. Hard of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Yeah, um... Yeah, that's actually really important to note. Foom. How they look as if they're cheering on their friend Oshawott. Or perhaps they're jealous that they get to help or that it gets to help you with your trial. You see, again, if I had the option, I would take all three of them because um apparently they have different forms in this game. So it's not going to be your typical Decidueye, Typhlosion, and Samurott. No, no, no. They're they're different. So that makes it even more exciting. <laughs> that could be well. Or, or that could well be. They did go dashing from the village when AOS fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry. You two, I'll have you assist... I mean, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Woo! By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with char charged you with catching? <laughs> well, that smashing all three of those species can be found in the obsidian uh, field lens. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. This professor is so cool. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. I'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head to the gate. Gotcha. Well, it's time. Are you ready, guys? I'm not ready. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic right now. I'm just like, man, this 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 feels great. I feel fantastic. <laughs> oh man. Well, 
Here we go. Time to get out the village and get the trial underway. But hello. Hello there, new person. That looks vaguely familiar. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I can't tell if he roasted me or if he's being sincere. It seems like he's being sincere. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any merchantile needs in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tell I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Man, you look really familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I know I've seen you from somewhere. <laughs> Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. What do you so do you, so what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Hmm. Okay. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I also heard about this trial you're to, you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you'll I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. All right, here we go. Gotta fight Volo. So this goes. My first battle at Hisui. Let's do it. He's got a Togepi. Sick. Okay, let's go, Oshawa. You know, I wonder if it's possible if you could find... Okay, actually, no, I'm not going to say anything. Um, Alright, let's go. Tackle. Sick. Okay. <laughs> I love you could just walk around. That's so sick. You could just walk around the battle and just be like, hey, walking around. Come on, Oshawa. Do that shit. Fuck him up. Do it. Also, this music sounds so good. Oh, we got a crit. Sick. Okay. Come on, Oshawa. Finish him off. Do it to him! Or do it to her, I guess. <laughs> nice. Beat the Togepi. And we did it. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Well, if that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. And we grew to level 6. Love to see it. So Ashaba got a new move. Sick. It's always good to ha It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they grow, and as they get experience through battle, you'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select change moves. Oh my god, bro, y'all have you guys have no idea how much of a change that is. You can manually change moves while you're just going around. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to try that for um, for the Pokemon we get. But so few people have their have had or here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions in thanks. Nice. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn down from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on the trial of, on this uh, tr on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly. After all, ah, uh, so he only saw this as a profiting mo as a profiting move. I see. He was thinking like on multiple levels. <laughs> That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Yes, I can. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Uh, when you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your, from your map, and tell and tell Rest the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Hmm. Gotcha. you. Trial begins just a short way past that gate. Let's do it then. It's time. AOS, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Our trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Man, you're... you're these people are, act, are acting like, man, he's about to die out there. <laughs> like, like, holy shit. The tone of this game is really set in the first, like, couple hours. Like, like they alert, like they're literally saying, 
hey man, if you go out there, you're gonna die. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> like, damn. Okay. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. Oh, jeez. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Hey. Ah. Uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparring, Captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? Oh, to be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. AOS's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Oh, poor Akari. <laughs> well, I'm sure AOS will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Yes, them. It's time. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, this is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Bro. I love this view. This. This is so different. This is so different. Like. This is not your typical Pokemon game. This is way beyond that. Like, I feel like the comparisons that people have made when this game first got announced, comparing it to Breath of the Wild, I feel like it's kind of justified, but only only because of, like, the range, I guess, that the game showed anyway, um, with it alluring to, be o alluring to be, like, an open-world Pokemon game, which it's not. It's not an open world game, but it it still has that kind of feel to it, you know. It does. I think eventually they they will make an open world Pokemon game that'll be like this, but you know, actually like better graphically and probably even more new mechanics and updates. Um, but yeah, like for this being the first one, they did a really good job so far. Like holy shit, the key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold ZL to focus on the wild Pokemans and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. Titmate comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemans attacks. Bidoof has mild disposition. It means it tends to not run from people, so this will be easy. Gotcha. Alright. Who's ready to catch a Bidoof? I know I am. Alright. Hey, little buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm just gonna catch you. Is that okay? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Got him. Nice. You caught a Bidu. Full done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Oh, shit. What will we get? What we get next? Is that my boy Starly? I love me some Starly. Hey, there he is. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. Haha, <laughs> get it? Starly, startled. Heh. <laughs> oh, look at that majestic bird. But. You should be able to get close to them if you crouch. It'll be harder to spot. Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for a while. Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for a while. Pokemon to detect. Gotcha. Alright. Some stealth mode tactic. I love to see it. Okay. Well, here we go. Here, Starly. Here, Starly. Nope, nope. Controller. Controller. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> Calm down. There you go. Oh my god. Okay. Bro, I need that start to move. Come on, come over here. Okay, fine, I'll go this way. Alright, Starly. 
All right, I'm about to catch you. Show yourself. Are you just gonna come on? Oh, you hiding real, real deep in that grass, huh? Well, got him. Oh, I got him with the the crit capture. Well, it was it wasn't really a crit capture, but I guess I might have hit it at the back of the head without noticing. There's Charlie, or that's Charlie caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, last one. Oh, I forgot. There's something I got. I ought to teach you, since there's still new. Since you're still new to this, here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon. Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item. Press X. Captain's real expert at these things. She loves X, doesn't she? That's her favorite button. Try throwing your Pokeball at at rocks, or your Pokemon's Pokeball at rocks. Or trees like this one to have to investigate. I love how you can interact with the environment in the wild. That's so cool. Now it's time for your partners to shine. Uh, we've reached your final hurdle. Catching a Shinx. Well. Go. Oshawott. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's so good. Here we go. Final one. There. That's Shinx. Hey. Hey, baby. How you doing? Shinx has a... <laughs> Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Nah. That shit looks adorable to me. <laughs> Not to worry. These things become very... Become clear once you... Once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get, gets ir get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Can use ZL to focus on a Pokemon. You see how easy it may be to catch. Uh, the more arrows you see pointing at, pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So if it's low, if it's like in the low, like oranges color, then it's harder to catch. Yellow, then green. Okay. Got it. Uh, the X button means that uh. Has to pick a, I mean, it's going to pick a flight. Okay. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught when engaged in battle. I see. I mean, unless you engage in battle. Okay, got it. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once, you absor once they're absorbed at battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them and try and catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon to want to battle. Or start a battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a Pokemon or start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you use it, or if you can see, uh, currently you have an item ready to throw, or ready to throw, not a Pokemon. Press X. Allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. X is so convenient. I'm I'm actually so that's like so cool. They just how they did that. Oh, hello there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Getting a little too close to me. Alright. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not gonna... Okay, Aqua Jet, show off. Okay, that's not bad. Um... Ooh, that did a lot. Okay, let's do one tackle. That should not kill. There you go. Okay. Wait, no, I didn't mean to... Oh, I didn't mean to attack it. <laughs> I meant to... I meant to press the Pokeball. Oh, we got a Shink. We got a Cherry Berry, though. No, no, don't knock this. Don't knock the Shinx out. Catch it. Even in battle, you can throw an empty Pokeball at it, uh, like you, like you would any other time. Yeah. Okay. So I have to press the other thing. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. No, 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 no. We're we're not going in first person mode. Hey, hey, yo, yo. You getting too close to me? <laughs> okay. I'll try that again. All right. Aqua Jet that. Good. Okay, that should be enough. Okay. There we go. Just had to press ZR or ZL. <laughs> no, actually, ZR. I was right. <laughs> okay. Come on, Shinx. Oh, okay. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. Attack. Oh, it's doing a little bit. Wait, no, no. Nope. Let's try that again. 
Okay, one more time. Come on, Shinx. Get this here ball. Got him. Or her, actually. Nice. Sick. You approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. Whoa. I know, right? It's just crazy. You're like a gift that God dropped me. The <laughs> You're like a gift that God dropped to <laughs> You're like a gift this guy dropped to us. Well, technically, it, it would be it would be God because of Arceus, but <laughs> with you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor you're ready to head back. We're, we're ready to head back. All right. Oh, man, I can't wait to explore this place. It's already 1 a.m. <laughs> I might end up playing again. I might I might record one more part, maybe. Oh, I see you passed a trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, AOS. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Hey. Skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then. We'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Yes, sir. Well, and that is that. So I believe we are going to be done for this part. Unless there's something else that's going to interrupt me. Um, Let's see. In time, you'll be able to, to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village uh, pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. So, like, it would be kind of cool if you could bring more than six with you. Because, like, there's no real set of rules. Or there's no real set of, you know, how many Pokemon you can bring with you in general. Because, I mean, like, there's no league. There's no nothing like that. So, like, why is six the standard in in the old, like, Sinnoh? Or really in, like, an olden time, like, Pokemon game. Like, why is 6 still a standard? It would be cool if you could actually bring more than that, but... Um... Yeah, I'm only saying this because... Uh... I think there was a... Well, I mean, there's a ROM hack... Uh, called Pokemon Bushido... And... The enemy trainers had, like, more than 6 Pokemon with them. I think there's, like, other ROM hacks that do that, too. But, like, it's just kind of cool, you know? It'd be kind of cool if you could, uh... If it could be multiple... If you could have uh, multiple Pokemon. But it is what it is. Although uh, we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Well, I already have four, so two more to go. <laughs> Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. No, she won't. She'll have that same <laughs> that same look on her face like, Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, we got a cherry berry off that uh, shank, so that's pretty cool. Also, I'm going to show off my party. So I may as well show off the party before we end off the vid. So, go Oshawott. Oh, wait, nope, nope. Not just you. Go Shinx. And go Bidoof. And go Starly. Oh, this this looks so cool. Oh, my. Oh, this is so nice. It would be even better if they could walk with you. But they can't walk with you. See? They can't walk with you. But, oh, I just love this. This is so cool. And they all look at you and... Oh. I love the way Oshawa just looks. <laughs> yeah, I know eventually this game. I mean, eventually, like, in future Legends games, like, we're going to be able to walk with Pokemon. It's it's going to be such a good feeling. Oh, man. I can't wait for I can't wait for it. I actually can't. Um, but, yeah. Um, in part three. Hold on. In part three, we're going to... um, Game. Controller. Stop. Okay, thank you. In part three, we're going to uh, continue. Or I mean, we're going to go into the Galaxy Hall and talk to Captain Silene and see what she's got to say. Hopefully, she says something positive, like, "Oh, you did a good job. We don't have to send you out to die anymore." <laughs> so that would be that would be pretty, you know. Um, what's the word? I can't think of it. Um, basically, she's actually she would actually be nice to us. Anyways, I'll see y'all in part three. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
and uh and yeah ladies and gentlemen so uh i'll see y'all in part three be safe wash your hands leave a like comment and subscribe on my way to reaching my 450 subscriber goal again just five subs away from that so if we can hit that that'll be cool and uh yeah peace out